Hey, welcome. Uh, again, we're going to be looking at September 2023 collections. We have interactable objects here. So this project has one Reaper project associated with it, and it has 282 sounds in the collection. So I'll go over the main project, you know, demonstrate some of the listening like always. And then also I have a couple levers and buttons that I can show you inside of Unreal and how give you a sense of how you might use these. So let's dive in. There's not really a whole lot to say about the main project window because we only have the one sub project for interactable objects. So we won't really spend too much time in here, but just so you can see, uh, there's the tracks like you would usually find for our sub projects. Let's go ahead and just open this up and then we'll do some listening. So I guess the first thing to mention is that there's various types of materials that you'll find for each of the buttons, switches or whatever you have. Um, we have plastic, metal, uh, synthetic, and then also wood. Most of our props are going to have a few different size options, usually one or two. Uh, so you have small, medium, and large prop sizes, generally speaking. So we have things in here like switches, buttons, levers, gears, those sorts of things you would kind of expect. You also have some appliances, like some uh, like a refrigerator and the door opening sounds, that sort of thing. I think there's a dishwasher as well. Pretty well covered in terms of character interaction objects you might generally find in a game. So here's the metal medium on switches. And how about some of the off as well? Right, so that makes sense. Then here's some of the synthetic switches. And then also the off. Pretty much what you would kind of expect, but there it is. One of the props in here that is actually really cool that I think is kind of unique is the uh, the wooden gears. So we'll have a quick listen to those. And they also have different speeds. So they're slow and then fast. So that was the small slow, small fast, medium, and then here's large. So again, kind of a unique thing to have in here that I think could uh, be a nice addition to um, just the Strata collection in general. There's, I don't think I've encountered any wooden gears in any of the other ones. So I really like this neat utility. Like I said, also there's some appliances. Here's the refrigerator and the clothes. So you could probably use that for a lot of different things, even though it's a refrigerator. Um, they are kind of, seem to have kept in mind the different size of the appliances that they're providing. So it's more useful than just being a refrigerator, most likely. Now, a lot of these don't have multiple layers, like the buttons and switches, and mostly just single layer sort of assets. Uh, but the lever, and I'm using the large lever in my Unreal project, um, this one has a few different layers that we can kind of highlight. So we have a basic layer here, which is just kind of the initial interaction, a metal squeaking layer. Right, and then sort of like the end of the interaction there and some additional weight. So if you wanted the object to appear, you know, more important or larger, um, you can activate or deactivate that weight layer. So here's everything together. And then without the weight. So the difference between like a base, your basic lever and maybe something that opens like a really large door or whatever. And also this uh, metal squeaking sound, definitely something that I decided to take out of my uh, my implementation for this. Very easily mute that. Have something a little cleaner. One thing I also ended up doing was actually for the uh, for the demo that I have, um, pulling in some of the synthetic sounds from the computer terminal. <laughs> Uh, so my overall impression, you know, I've already kind of said a lot about it and what I like, particularly the uh, the wood gears. Um, I like these smaller sort of focused collections that are kind of filling out some some niches or some missing aspects of Strata overall currently. You could make a whole variety of buttons and levers and all kinds of things 
um, that you might need from what's here without, you know, feeling overwhelmed with the amount of material that's provided to you. So all in all, great collection, very focused, love it. Taking a quick look at the implementation for just one of these objects here, the terminal. I'm just gonna show you this one because it actually incorporates a few different events with a few different button and switch type sounds. Inside of Unreal, I have, what is this, five different actual events. Let's go ahead and play it. All right. So the cool thing about this collection is how modular everything is. It gives you the ability to just add buttons or you know some of these synthetic sounds to your wise project based on the prop that you have. You can, you know, line things up to the animation, and it's sort of a very nice modular way of working. Just to give you a more focused look at this, if I solo the terminal, all right. There's just the terminal sound. Here's some synthetic buttons in here. So there's one at the beginning and one at the end. There's the metal button in here and two, I'm pretty sure. So as the keyboard sort of flips around there. Now, of course, uh, if I wanted to be, you know, spend a little bit more time on this, I could probably go in and customize from the material that's inside of the project. This just shows that really quickly, if you're able to, you know, transfer some of these sounds in, that you can come up with something that will fit for some, just this basic object that I pulled out um, without spending too much time if you don't have it. Thanks again for watching. Be sure to check out the Wise Up On Air uh, episode that we're going to be doing, talking about these two collections, including canons and interactable objects. So I'll have a little bit more time to talk about the design and some kind of fun implementation ideas there and also some other interesting things. If you have any questions or comments, please be sure to leave them in the uh, in the section below and we will try to you know answer and you know help you out if you need anything. Otherwise, see you in the next one. Thanks again for watching.